You've set the goal of losing 100 pounds this year. Now you want to know, is this healthy and is this a realistic goal for you? Well, I've got some good news for you. It is healthy, it is realistic, and I'm going to show you why and how. My name's Jack. I've lost over 100 pounds myself and I've kept it off for quite some time. Now I'm looking to get even more serious about my health and fitness and I want to help you do the same. I've recently become a certified nutrition coach and a certified weight loss specialist, along with a certified personal trainer, and I'm going to be using everything I've learned, not only in my life, but I want to help you to achieve all of your health and fitness goals. If you like what I'm all about, and if you want to go on this health and fitness journey with me, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, yeah, we'll, together, with, with a little help supporting each other, become the people that we wish to be. Most health and fitness experts agree that losing between one and two pounds per week is healthy and maintainable. And for a weight loss goal like this, right, 100 pounds over the course of a year, you want something that is maintainable over the long term. If we divide 100 pounds by the 52 weeks in the year, we get an average weight loss per week of 1.92 pounds and that falls within the recommended healthy and maintainable range. So simple math says losing 100 pounds over the course of a year is safe. It won't require uh, necessarily additional medical supervision. It's something that you can embark on on your own and it is maintainable. Just because it's safe and realistic doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. Let's dig a little deeper into the numbers and find out what you're gonna have to do to lose, on average, about two pounds per week over the course of a year. In a very simplistic way, you can think about one pound of fat as approximately 3,500 calories. Your goal is to lose two pounds per week, which is 7,000 calories per week. There are seven days in a week, which means you need to be in a 1,000 calorie calorie deficit every single day over the course of an entire year to lose 100 pounds this coming year. It may sound like a lot, but it is doable, it is achievable, and it can be done safely. Let's dig even deeper into what your caloric needs typically look like and get a better idea of what the next year of your life might look like. Your caloric needs can be broken up into three, possibly four categories, depending on how deep you want to break it up. The first is your basal metabolic rate. This is the amount of calories that you need just to sustain your normal bodily functions, even if you did absolutely nothing all day long and just slept for 24 hours. And this makes up about 70% of your caloric needs. And when you're quite large and obese like I used to be, your basal metabolic rate is gonna be also very high just to, to maintain the weight and the mass that you currently have on your frame. The second is the thermic effect of food. When you eat food, you need to burn calories to digest that food. And if you're eating an unhealthy diet and eating quite a lot of food, you're actually probably burning quite a lot of calories just to digest and process all the food. Now, as you start to eat less and eat healthier, you'll probably be eating less food and less calories throughout the day, which means this is going to fluctuate over time, and that's something we're going to need to think about a little later on. The thermic effect of food, on average, can make up about 10% of your calorie needs, which is significant, and again, it will change over time. The third category is the thermic effect of exercise, and this can be broken up into two subcategories. The first is your dedicated physical exercise time. So that could be hitting the gym like I do here at home. It could be going on a jog, a swim, a walk, any time that is dedicated towards physical exercise. And the other category is NEAT non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And this is any of the physical activities that you do throughout the day that is not dedicated physical exercise. For example, making a YouTube video, doing the dishes, brushing your teeth. This is all neat. And neat and physical exercise on average can make up about 20% of your daily caloric needs. It's a surprisingly small percent uh, when you think about it, right? A lot of people think the best way to lose weight is to exercise a whole bunch, and it is. It is very important. Physical activity uh, is not only wonderful for helping to lose and maintain weight, but it also builds a strong, healthy body, a strong cardiovascular system, and an overall healthy, functional body that has a high quality of life. However, when it comes to losing 100 pounds over the course of the year, we can see by this calorie breakdown that your nutrition and the amount of food that you eat over the course of the day is going to be very important. I hinted at this earlier, but over time, your caloric needs are going to change. 
at the very beginning, when you're still uh, quite large, again, like I used to be, your caloric needs just to maintain your body weight and to digest all the foods will be high. This means that it will be easier to achieve a calorie deficit and to lose weight at the beginning of your weight loss. As you lose weight, your maintenance calories or your basal metabolic rate will also probably decrease, which means you need less food over the course of the day. As you eat less food during this journey, you will be burning less calories, which means you need to consume less calories to maintain your calorie deficit of 1000 calories each day. Now, these things can be offset by increasing your physical activity, increasing your NEAT, and by adjusting your caloric intake over the course of the year. And at the end of the day, all of these numbers are wonderful theory, wonderful things to know, but your best judge and your most non-biased, impartial judge will be the scale. Which is why I recommend weighing yourself regularly over the course of the year to make sure that you're staying on track. Another cool thing to think about, uh, especially at the beginning of your weight loss journey, is that as you start to go into a calorie deficit, your body will begin to break down its own stored energy for its daily use. Your stored energy is in the form of glycogen. Glycogen is bonded to your body with water molecules. And as you start to use this glycogen, it will get debound from your body. The water molecules will break apart and you may and probably will lose water weight. This is one of the reasons why at the beginning of a weight loss journey, you may lose a lot more weight uh, for the first couple of weeks than you do as you progress through your weight loss. All this leads to me to my next point, which is weight loss is non-linear. I think when we crunch all of these numbers and we say that you need to lose two pounds every week for an entire year, it's easy to think that it's going to be a graph that looks very steadily two pounds every week. But that's probably not going to be the case, and it certainly wasn't for me. In fact, when I started losing my weight, I lost a whole bunch at the beginning, and I was super motivated and really dedicated and inspired to keep going. But over time, the effects of water weight loss starts to decrease. Um, I had lost some weight, so the calorie deficit that I was achieving each day, even while maintaining the same workout routine and the same diet, started to diminish, which meant that my weight loss on a weekly base basis started to decrease as well. On top of that, old habits might start popping back up. You may start slipping on your diet, or maybe you'll stop exercising and training as intensely as you were at the beginning. Uh, and that's normal, right? A, a year is a very long time and, and it can be difficult to maintain that level of intensity over the course of an entire year. So just know that your weight loss graph, one year from today and one year from when you begin your journey, will not be a straight line. In fact, it'll probably be a sharp fall, maybe a plateau, maybe an increase, maybe another sharp decline, maybe another increase, maybe a plateau, maybe it'll go down again. That's totally normal. Don't get discouraged if you see these. If you do see a plateau that lasts for a couple of weeks, a month, or longer, then we need to very seriously reevaluate your nutrition and your physical activity. Take a step back, be honest with yourself. How many calories are you eating in a day? Are you sticking to your diet? Are you sticking to your workout routine? What's going on? Come back to it again. Maybe recalculate what your daily caloric needs are, and then go at it again with everything you got. Losing 100 pounds uh, in a year, or losing 100 pounds at any amount of time, is, is a big process. It's, a, it's, it's really a monster accomplishment for those people who are doing it and who've done it. With 100 pound weight loss comes a whole host of wonderful health benefits. Uh, for people who are overweight and obese, there is increased risk of premature death, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, various types of cancer, uh, depression, anxiety, elevated stress levels, mental disorders of all types, overall a lower quality of life, and, and so much more. And by losing this weight, you can really make major leaps and bounds in your own personal health and fitness and quality of life. And the good news is, you don't have to lose 100 pounds to get these benefits. Losing even 5 to 10% of your initial starting body weight can add wonderful health benefits for you and your life. For you out there watching this video, you've already made a really big step just by clicking on my video and beginning to get inspired and informed about what your weight loss journey is gonna look like. It won't be easy, but it is healthy, it is safe, it is maintainable, and you can do it.
Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know where you're starting from, where you want to go, what you're afraid of, what you're hopeful for, what you're looking forward to, challenges you face along the way, and uh, I'll be here every step of the way to help support you as you become the person that you wish to be. Thanks for watching my video. Best of luck to you on your weight loss journey, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.